We all know this guy. Yeah, this dude with the great hair, great tan, great takes on the media. I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorical? You are fake news. Donald J. Trump, or better yet known as our 45th president. This former president is notorious for stirring up the pot and gloating about how he is the absolute shit at everything he does. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? If even half of what Donald Trump says is true about himself, his hotel's got to be amazing, right? It is wrong. Trump Tower in Chicago. Illinois. We've all seen it. It's like the fourth tallest building in the United States of America. Damn, bro. It's literally in the sky. Today, we're testing the theory of Trump's greatness and staying at the one and only Trump Tower. Can't wait to waste a thousand, I mean, spend a thousand dollars. Trump is pretty out of touch with uh, us normal citizens. I'm really hoping to see a good experience out of this hotel. This hotel's gotta be amazing, right? It has to be amazing. As we were pulling up to Trump Tower, we were expecting the lobby interior area to look amazing. And honestly, it's pretty disappointing. It just looked like a normal hotel. Pretty sure I've seen shit like this at Super 8 Motel, Holiday Inn, Best Western. It was nothing special for a $1,000 a night. I was expecting a lot more, to be honest. $36. Dude, you okay. gotta buy that. Sorry, gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, really? Hey, we're going to show the Trump experience to everyone. The moment of truth. I don't know. I kind of expected a little more out of a $1,000 a night. Damn, bro. You're on top of the world up here. Highest floor, right? Yeah, finally bigger than everybody else. Here's the bathroom. Uh, oh my god! It's be chilling like this. There's bro. a hot tub. There's a standing one too. Why is there a remote in the bathroom? Let's turn it on. Oh! That's a TV. What? In the no. mirror. Oh, Trump robes? No. <laughs> bro, what are you doing? Have you seen water look this fancy in your life? Bling H2O, bro. Does this cost money? It has to. Nothing is free. Bruh, $32? Bling H2O water, $32. So that's 32. How's it taste at least? Like bottled water. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what, is, what are you doing? I call it a Trump experience with all the slippers, right? Size six feet. A few moments later. It is dinner time. We're absolutely famished. Let's get some Trump food up in this hotel room. Yeah, ma'am. I just want to do some in room dining. We want a Trump hot dog. So Chicago hot dog. Chicago hot I'm not Trump hot dog, my bad. Can we get a burger? A terrace burger. Terrace burger. Can we get a rack of lamb? And then can we do some quail? Trump chocolate. Really curious about that one. Okay, have a Trump day as well, ma'am. See ya. One hour later. This is insane, bro. Always dreamed of this as a kid. What is that? A rack of lamb? That's not a rack of lamb, bro. That's. Is, what is. This is the lamb. Looks tasty. Good girl. I love lamb though. I'm a fiend for lamb. This is not bad. But now we're $70. It's really good though. This kind of looks like a normal hot dog. This costs what, $30? Literally a Walmart hot dog. This is one of the best hot dogs I've ever had in my life. Fries kind of tastes like poop. It's not not very good. This is the quail. Yo, this is quail. It's like Tweety the bird. It tastes, you know, like all the flavors like combined all in one. Like absolute horse shit. Terrorist burger. What is this? SpongeBob? That thing's green. <laughs> Green! <laughs> it does not look that good. That looks good to me, dude. Holy Trump, but this burger is no joke. So after we indulged on the most mediocre food on planet Earth, we went and checked out the amenities. And I must say, everything sucked ass. But the gym, the gym was dope. I'm not even gonna lie. It was like an actual commercial gym in a hotel, which I've never seen before. So that was super, super dope. After we got pumped up in the gym, we got hungry again, so we ordered some more room service to try some different food out. It was gonna be about an hour wait. So in the meantime, we decided to go get some free appetizers since everything on the menu cost $10,000. We were hungry, we wanted food now, we couldn't wait an hour. One man's trash might be another man's appetizer. Whoa, Alright boys, it's feast. Oh man, this is your chicken Caesar salad. I got the good old truffle pasta. Bro hooked us up with a free sandwich though. That, Ooh, that is that? a shame. That is prime rib steak sandwich. So after indulging on more overpriced mediocre food, our stay was coming to an end. But we decided to make a statement before we went to bed. We had to let everyone in Trump Tower know the truth about Sleepy Joe Bite. America are women. And one... Spread awareness. Oh. 
after everything was said, done, and paid, I can honestly say this was the most mediocre, average experience of our lives. We will never be returning to Trump Tower ever again. If you ever go to Chicago, save your money, go somewhere else, do not go to Trump Tower. And honestly, we can't go back because uh, we actually got banned. They saw us on security cameras. They didn't like the fact that we were dressed in a Trump costume, doing all these festivities. <laughs> oh, oh.